Hello everyone, welcome back to Free Talent. Today in this video, we'll show you how you can do soldering like a pro. Before we get started, let me tell you this video is not only for the beginners but also for the one who struggles with a soldering bit or a temp cleaning issue. So let's get started. As you see, I'm using a dishwasher scrubber here. This plays a very important role when it comes to a soldering. So I'll show you to you. So we just take the normal scrubber and uh, make it a hole from backside. If you want, you can take the complete uh, scrubber out and then you can put it in some kind of jar and use it for your soldering. So I've made a hole here. Now I'll just pull out some of the scrubber so that when I'm cleaning my soldering bit, it is easy for me to access. I can directly punch in, but uh, the, when I'm punching in, the behind plastic is there. That might get melt, which I don't want that to happen. For now, what I'll do is I'll just show you show you the components which I'm using today to solder. And this is also my upcoming project. If you guess what is my upcoming project, then I might give this to you guys as a giveaway. But for that, you have to be a subscriber. You need to like this video. You have to leave a comment. And let us know if you guys want to watch any other kind of uh, video topics so that we can make that for you. And if you see, I'm just applying the flux on the board. Because the flux, when you apply it on the entire board, this will help when you soldering. It will uh, get soldered very quickly. If you don't apply the flux also, there is no problem. But only issue is, it might not be strong enough compared to when you apply a flux and then solder. Okay. Now, if you see, I'm just uh, using a paper because I was using in a finger. People might not feel comfortable applying the flux on your finger and then on the board. So I use the tip of paper. If you see nicely, it is applied and um, always make sure that you apply the flux and then solder. Why? Because it will be really strong. One tip. Second tip is you need not to apply whenever you need it in between. So once it is done, you just need to apply, connect the components and then solder it. It is easy. So now I'm done with the flux. So let me show you how you can go ahead and solder. But before that, let me show you the soldering gun here if you see the tip it is rusty and uh, not clean so for cleaning i am just using the scrubber here let me show you okay so i have picked up the scrubber if you see how i am uh, like cleaning the tip here and we, uh, let me zoom in okay now you can see the tip which is in silver color okay so the tip is cleaned this way you can clean your tip after every soldering if you want or whenever it is heat you can just clean it up. Tip number three, always use a clean tip before you start the work. That way you will quickly finish your work. Okay. Let me connect the components here and then let me start with the soldering. Okay. So you guys know which components I'm using so let me not tell you and waste the time here. Because the video is already a little long so I would recommend you guys to see the complete video without skipping because you might miss one or the other tips and uh, you might face problems so again you have to come back and watch the video instead of that you can watch the video completely now itself and also if you have not subscribed till now i would request you to please go ahead and subscribe so now if you see i have connected the leds here which i will go and solder it also i have connected the ic hub okay let's go ahead and solder now you need to see this very carefully because one side I'm using like uh, keeping the soldering gun, other side I'm using a flux. So one side when you keep the soldering tip there, you need to make sure after one second you apply the flux because if it is little heaten up, it will apply very quickly and the strong uh, joints will be really strong. See how I'm doing it and it is not even taking me a time. I have little fast forwarded the video because I wanted uh, the video to be completed very soon. So, but that will not affect anything here. And you can see the LEDs also. I will show you in the same manner. So one side you just need to keep the tip. Other side you need to heat it up little and then apply a flux. I would recommend you to follow the steps and uh, you can improve your soldering skills very quickly. Also, I know like uh, even I might make some mistakes. So if people who is watching this video are more experienced than me, then you can please help me improve 
you can just go down in the comments and let me know how or any other tips I can use it for my soldering skills. Okay, that will be really appreciated. I would not feel shame learning from my youngers also because most of the time they are a little more curious and creative at a time. Okay, so I have completed uh, the two LED soldering here. So let me finish this also quickly. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, the last pin. Now we're done. So let me just zoom in and show it to you guys how the soldering looks here. It similarly looks like a kind of uh, machine soldering. I don't know, but you guys have to tell me in the comment how it looks. Okay. So if you are not able to see, let me try to zoom in a little bit and you might be able to see that. Yep, this is the connector which I missed it. I have soldered it now then. Cool. Okay. So if you see the front side, I'm also connecting the sum of the transistors and also let me connect all the components at once and then solder it, finish it off this soon. Okay, and I know like you guys might feel this video is a little longer then I would request you to please bear with me. I'm connecting all the components at once and let me finish it off. Okay, just give me a second. Let me finish this up. One by one all the components are connected yep i'm done so let me just go ahead and quickly finish this off okay so till now you have watched the video that means really a great of you and uh, we'll finish it up very soon within a minute we might just wrap this video see if you uh like i am just cleaning the tip again it should not be like i am not using and i'm just telling you guys that is wrong I use personally this way and this really helps me if you see the tip it is in silver color which means the tip is clean okay and after cleaning how quickly it is soldering so that will not be a problem let me zoom in and show it to you yeah I'm just fast forwarding because I want to wrap this up I don't want to take your time you have uh, other videos to watch please go ahead and watch that but before going, I would request you to subscribe and then leave. Okay. Now we are done.